The International Criminal Court says that it will not yet comment on the vote by the parliament in Burundi to leave its jurisdiction. There's still a long process for Burundi to go before it uh, would leave the court, but the vote makes it the first country to take the initial steps. Our European correspondent Jack Parrock reports. The International Criminal Court says investigations into last year's post-election violence in Burundi will continue, despite 94 out of 110 lawmakers in Bujumbura voting to leave the ICC. The move still needs to be signed off by President Pierre Nkurunziza. It would be the first country to actually pursue this course of action, despite rumbles from many African nations. As an African, it would really be uh, a regression on the continent, a regression, a very bad regression for us to decide to choose impunity over justice, because this is exactly what, what it means, that we are choosing impunity for serious crimes over justice, and this will be unfortunate for the continent. The ICC would still have jurisdiction over Burundi for a year after the government notifies the United Nations that it wants to leave. And the ICC will continue investigations into the post-election violence which erupted after Pierre Nkurunziza won his third term in office, which many believe to be unconstitutional. If your uh, father is tortured, if your mother, you find her on the street duly killed, do you think once again that the other members of the family will abandon to fight? Never. When the court was investigating Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta, there was a suggestion that he would get Kenya to pull out of the ICC. He'd have been supported by his parliament. Instead, though, he cooperated, which left him a free man and able to travel internationally. If Burundi does decide to leave and the ICC subsequently indicts Burundian nationals for war crimes or crimes against humanity, they would become fugitives of international law. Jack Parrick, SABC News, Brussels.